New UR event, so let's go over the new ships. First, the elites. You guys should know by now, elites instantly collection tier. I won't go into detail about them. Asanagi, she has a cool second skill. It makes your vanguard ships tankier, but you know what else can make your vanguard tankier? Using another ship. Natori, she has three barrages. For all assault, an airstrike barrage, and whatever the heck this thing is. But you know what her problem is? She is flimsier than paper. You know, this thing only fires for the first 30 seconds of battle. But I don't think that matters, because I don't think she could even survive for 30 seconds. And then on to the SRs. Hatsuzuki. She is part of the Akizuki class of destroyers. She, like her sisters, are some of the tankier destroyers in the game, making them pretty good. She gets main gun plus one as well. Her skills give her a nice mix of offensive and defensive buffs, a zombie heal, and a nice barrage. But you know what her problem is? She's a destroyer. Her usage is still very niche because more often than not, you still want to use a cruiser over her. Next, we have Awadi, who I think is the best ship in this event. Stat wise, she has pretty standard SR battleship stats, other than having a non zero torpedo stat. But that's because her first skill gives her a torpedo barrage. But better yet, her first skill lets her pick a partner at the beginning of the battle in every 20 seconds. Her partner gets either offensive stats if they're in the vanguard or defensive stats if they're in the main fleet. Of course you want the offensive stats because who the heck cares about defense nowadays for as long as she has a partner she gives herself 20 percent firepower accuracy and reload which is really nice and she keeps herself buffs as long as her partner doesn't sink within the 20 seconds of her choosing him so basically it's permanent to be honest if your ships are sinking i think something's gone wrong and her second skill gives her a main gun fire barrage. It starts at 75% chance, but is easily made 100% by having your flagship be a soccer empire ship, a battleship, or receiving the partner buff from her first skill. Super easy conditions, so it might as well have been 100%. The barrage also gives herself a 10% damage buff, which is nice. So overall, Awadi is a well-statted SR battleship with one and a half barrages, some very nice self buffs, and potential for some very nice offensive support buffs too. Great ship. Very nice ship. And finally, Unzen. Where do I start with Unzen? Let's talk about the good stuff first. Being a UR ship, she naturally has better stats than 90% of the ships in the game. She gets main gun plus one. She gets two preload torpedoes. And also her torpedoes reload simultaneously effectively giving her torpedo plus one two her skills also give her some nice offensive buffs with fire to power and torpedo and also torpedo crit rate and crit damage and that's kind of where the good ends her hp pool is abysmal and the damage reduction she gets in her skills don't really make up for it all these torpedo buffs while they sound cool realistically not that great because no one plays on manual if you are on manual i think she would be a good ship because you know you can shotgun your torpedoes into the enemy and with all these crit buffs her torpedoes are gonna hurt but no one plays on manual so unzen honestly a little bit of a disappointment probably the weakest ur ship we have like we know shimakaze rerun is coming soon and if you had to pick between Unzen or Shimakaze, you would pick Shimakaze. 